What's going on YouTube? This is Mustafa Love with Hearthstone Media coming at you with another quick video and in this video I'm going to be giving you some amazing tips on how you can launch and or grow your brand on social media in 2020. Let's get to it. Alright guys, so now I'm here to tell you that you've already done what may be the hardest thing to do on this journey in launching and growing a brand. You've already figured out what it is that you want to launch or grow. That is one of the hardest things for an entrepreneur to do or somebody with an entrepreneurial spirit to figure out what it is they actually want to bring to the table. So now you've already got that part out the way and now you're on to probably what is the most important thing on the next step along that journey is seeking out relevant information. I guess that's why you're here. So I'm going to give you some of that relevant information. So let's get right to it. Before I go any further, I would like to say if this content is relevant to you and is helpful to you, I would love for you to hit that like button here and the subscribe button right here and hit that notification bell to be notified the next time I post a video like this. Hardcore Media Gang will really appreciate it. So now let's get to it. Number one on the list, don't take shortcuts. And it's like, it's probably put, don't take shortcuts. What do you think? Don't take shortcuts, guys. Part of the journey is the journey. Just imagine if you went from being 15 years old, 25 years old. So imagine if you jump all the way from here and you skip that 10 years out. You think you're going to be a successful 25 year old if you missed the 16, the 17, the 18, the mistakes you made in 19, 20, 21, 22. No, you need that. That is part of the journey. You need that. There is a such thing as necessary mistakes, necessary trial and error. Now, there is also a such thing as unnecessary trial and error and that's why you're here you're going to seek out relevant information that is going to be useful to you along your journey so some mistakes you don't have to make some money you don't have to waste some time you don't have to waste but sometime you got to get your fingertip burnt in that in that in that in that heat to know that fire is hot that is a, a, a life lesson that everybody needs to experience once in their life you need to feel that so that is part of the journey don't take shortcuts, guys. Do the work. Find out the information that you need to find out. And don't skip steps. Because the person that you're competing against may not be. Next on the list, guys. Support versus interest. Now, I know this is going to sound a little crazy, so I'm going to give it to you like really quick the best way I can. People will support you who know you. That doesn't necessarily mean they're interested in your product. And that doesn't necessarily mean that somebody else would potentially be interested in your product. You have to learn how to balance and weigh those things out. So you might come out with a product and launch and you might have all of this thoughts, interest, but that interest is indeed support. Support for you, not necessarily that the product that you create. And in those spaces, it is hard to get necessary feedback. You don't always know if the product that you're presenting to the world is something that other people who don't know you will be interested in. So you need to figure out. Now, that's more of a mental fortitude type of thing. Maybe if you got some really good people in your circle who can really give you that real constructive criticism to say, hey, you know, maybe this should be a little bit like this. or maybe this is not that. But don't beat yourself up if you jump out there and you wonder, wow, wow, I'm not getting that same buzz that I got in the beginning because your support will eventually start to waver and start to fall off. And that's when you need your interest to pick up from that. If you have paid way too much attention to the support and not looked at the interest, you might be creating content for only people who know you. That's like if you have a great banana pudding recipe that your grandmother used to make, but you like to put whipped creams and strawberries in your banana pudding. Everybody don't eat whipped cream and strawberries. So when you first start selling banana pudding, everybody's supporting you because they all know grandma's recipe. So yeah, it's like, oh, you're making grandma's recipe. Everybody likes it. But then when you wonder why nobody else is buying it, you didn't take the time to research. Well, how many people actually like whipped cream and strawberries in their banana pudding? This might be a lot less people than you actually knew or thought of. Maybe you would have made another banana pudding that didn't have whipped cream and strawberries. But that initial support was masked and had you thinking it was interest. So you said, well, this is the only banana pudding I need to make. That is about the best analogy I can give because I see some things like that happening. And that's with anything. So many these tips go from all ranges of social media. These aren't YouTube tips. These aren't Instagram tips. These aren't TikTok tips. These are social media tips. And these are things that you need to know going into your social media journey. So that was step number two. Support versus interest. And now we're going to get to step number three. And 
now guys, in step number three, I'm gonna give you some real good tea. I don't believe I just said that word. Yeah, can, can guys, can we use tea? I don't know. Katana, can we use tea? Breaks out on that. Well, okay. So I'm gonna give you the tea on rule number three. I didn't mean for that to rhyme. It just kind of happened. But. Okay. I own your space. And what I mean by own your space is this. Your name is your brand. You are your brand. You need to enter your name and your brand in every single space you can. You need to take up every single space that you can. Occupy every space that you can. And what I mean by this, because if you're not occupying that space, that gives room for somebody else to occupy that space. So say in your past, before you became an entrepreneur and decided to launch your brand, you didn't do TikTok. You didn't do Pinterest or you didn't do Reddit or you didn't go on Facebook. I don't like Facebook or I don't like Instagram. It's too, you got to dead all of that. That's over because all social media is connected. And when you think about the two major or the, the two biggest search engines in the on the planet, Google and YouTube, Google is number one, YouTube is number two. They are both search engines. You want to own the space in that search engine because people are lazy. So if somebody, if you get to the point where somebody's interested in you and they actually want to find you, you want them to be able to easily find you from wherever they are. They're going to put your name in Google and they're going to search you. You better have some SEOs on there that they're going to be able to find or they're going to forget about you. They're going to put your name in YouTube if they're YouTubers. You better have a YouTube. So if you're launching a brand, a la launching yourself, you have to own these spaces. And one of the most important things about owning them spaces is you own them so nobody else can. So even if you don't tweet, get a Twitter. Get a Twitter because that's a free namesake. That's another free link to your brand and your name. You can start a Twitter page and just put the link to your Instagram on a Twitter page. So if somebody wants to find you and there are people that tweet all the time, they can look you up on Twitter and then you'll be there. On top of that, if somebody searches your name in Google, you will begin to cover up that whole first page if somebody's looking for your name. It's very hard to get on Google's first page or even on the side or on a second page if somebody's looking for your product. But they should definitely be able to find you fully on the first page if they're looking for you specifically. And it owns, it, it gains a little oomph to your presentation if you can tell somebody hey uh it's the difference between somebody hey look me up on instagram opposed to yeah just search me like right now if you were looking for me you could just search hearthstone media you can search hearthstone media in google i wouldn't need to tell you oh go search me on instagram you can search me on google and then you can find me in all the other places that you want me to be because i am everywhere and it's free that's another thing you got to take advantage of free things it's almost like getting a domain name for free and in some of these sites you can own the domain name you can own pinterest backslash heartstorm media for free you can get on youtube backslash whatever your brand is for free once you reach a certain level of subscribers some some pages you can't but owning those urls is big because it boosts you in the search engines that people are searching in for information and content so that is rule number three own your space and maximize that free, free, free. All right, guys, so now we're on number four. Number four is gonna piggyback right off of number three. I kind of like link them like that, so they do. Number four is SEO dominance, and SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization. Um, with that, with Search Engine Optimization really is how uh, Google puts information or Google or YouTube or other search engines, be it Bing or whatever, puts information in front of their consumers who are searching for things. Because when you go on Google, you're a consumer of Google. Google is selling your time that you're viewing their sites to their advertisers. Um, so when you say you want to find Hello Kitty and you go search Hello Kitties, that's the search. Google is the engine and optimization is who they're going to send you to, which is closest to you and the best link to decide where you can go find the different Hello Kitty products that you like, that you desire. So now how to dominate the SEO is by creating as many tags as possible that are linking to your name and your brand. It's a trick to that and there's a science to it, but it starts with content. It starts with content that is relevant to your brand, 
to a certain thing that you do, you sell, you move, you shake, um, and you tag them and link them so that they have searchable terms. So if I'm searching, again, Heartstorm Media, if somebody is literally searching for me, they can find me in so many different ways because I have tagged that name and that phrase to so many different things. So I have tags to Pinterest. I have tags that link from Pinterest to Instagram. I have tags from Instagram to Facebook. All of these things are boosting that name, that phrase into the search engine. So if somebody perhaps was just looking for, I don't know, guy who's making videos with plush dolls. Maybe they'll find me. Maybe it's somebody else making videos with plushies. I don't know. Somebody else got a gang like we got? I'm going to have to look into that. But right now, I think I'm the only one. If you search up videos with guys making videos with plush dolls, I'm pretty sure I'm being one of the top ranks because I'm going to dominate that search in the space. And if we ain't on there, we're about to be on there. Let's go to number five. I'm, in. I'm calm now. And number five, hate. Flat out, people going hate. Get used to it. Once you put yourself out there in a the space, you got a whole lot of invisible gangsters that's going to be hating on your brand. They either going to hate because you're doing something they wish they could. They're going to be hating because you came up with an idea that they've been percolating in their mind forever. And you finally decide to jump out there. And they be like, oh, I, I was thinking about doing that three years ago. And I did this better back then. And this time that people going to hate, get used to it. But this is the thing about hate. And when I say don't tune out hate, you know, they say the old saying, let hate motivate, whatever. Don't tune out the hate because hate and negativity is going to come. But all negativity is not hate. So I'll give you a prime example. If you're at the bar drinking and you go to get in your car and drive home drunk, and somebody says, you're an idiot. For driving drunk. That's not hate. Maybe it could be viewed as negativity to you. But that's good, relevant information, feedback, and comments. You have to be able to depict what is hate from what is good, relevant feedback. Because everything you put out there may not be the move. Every video you put out there may not be uh, uh, of as good a quality as you think. So you can't just let somebody, if somebody leaves a negative comment and they just take that as, oh, they hating. No, they might see something that you can't see with their eyes and they are a consumer of your brand. Even if they're not spending money, if they're watching your content, if they're clicking on your videos, they're a consumer of what you are putting out there. They just haven't transitioned from a paying consumer but they are a consumer so you have to listen to all feedback all comments and you have to learn how to be able to sift through and don't just tune people out as every naysayer is a hater don't tune tune people out as every negative comment they're just hating or they just don't want to see or they're the devil and all that no some people have very 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 poignant points uh to give to you and sometimes it may come across to you as just negativity or they're just hating or whatever you got to learn how to pick and choose and figure out which is which. So um, that's my top five list for now. I have many, many, many other tips. Hopefully these, I, I won't even say that's my top five list. That is a list of five. It's so many different ways to attack branding, attack growth and social media, be it YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, Facebook groups, anything. But all of these tips can be used in all of those formats. Um, if you found this information again, useful to you like it share it subscribe hit the notification bell to be notified the next time i make a video like this if you want videos on any specific content anything specifically involving social media like like i've mentioned how to connect pinterest to instagram and and youtube to this and that's that and the third i can do videos like that just uh give me the word let me know what you want uh, to see and i want to bring that content to you so thank you very much if you stayed this long uh, be careful out there. Be safe. Uh, please stay home, but if you got to go out, be prepared. Come back and see me. Come for the info. Stay for the laughs. It's been fun and real. From the Heartstorm gang, we're out. Hey, guys, thanks for watching. If you like these videos, you can click my face here to subscribe or here to watch more videos. 
or was it here to subscribe and here to watch? How did we set this up again?